Okay, this is something of a spontaneous video, but I think it's important to make. It's regarding crime, which is surely uh, one of the most important social issues around. Um, I made a video similar to this recently, well, about the same subject, but um, I'm not sure if I covered this angle so much in that video, so I want to do that now. It's about a liberal prison system, specifically no the Norwegian prison system, but I guess that also applies to Sweden, which is quite a similar system. Um, there's a lot of contentious issues between uh, the Scandinavian countries or people that in them who tend to look at videos of outsiders critiquing their prison system. What I mean by that is uh, they get very defensive and uh, they have to point out the fact that there is relatively low crime levels. Now, firstly, I'm not American. I'm British, as you might be able to tell from my accent. So... The idea that all people who are um, critiquing this are American is a bit narrow-minded. There's many people in many other countries that look at this with very uh, big question marks. Um, I want to start with the point that there's low crime levels. That sort of seems to be the starting point of the arguments, of the, of the counter-arguments, I should say, from Norwegians about how wonderful their system apparently is. Now, first of all, the fact that there is relatively low crime levels is in itself a good thing. Of course it is. Um, clearly, Norway is not El Salvador. Okay, we get it. Um, that's a good thing. But crime levels alone are not the only issue when it comes to crime, law and justice. It's not the only issue. It's a very important issue, granted, but it's not the only issue. And just as a, a disclaimer, this idea of constantly comparing it with the United States. So Norwegians often come up... I'm talking about the Norwegians here on these videos. I shouldn't generalise. But Norwegians on these videos often come out with all oh, you stupid Americans or uh, look at your extreme system and they sort of critique the problems of the American system. But to me it's not about how bad other systems are. It's about legitimate scrutiny of the Norwegian system. Now, it's true the American system has many, many flaws. Uh, there's a financial aspect, whereby, you know, if you can't afford the best lawyer, then you're going to have a biased case. There's a very questionable issue of solitary confinement. Um, the American prison system is very far from the world's best example. In fact, among developed countries, I would argue it's one of the worst. Um, it incarcerates more people than any other country, which is not something to boast about. So, okay, we get it. There's a lot of flaws with the American system. I'm coming from the United Kingdom, which is a country whereby probably 90% of people feel that our system is unfair. But when I look at other systems around the world, I think actually we're not that bad. Because we are somewhere in the middle between one extreme and another. Um, and this isn't even including totalitarian regimes that obviously uh, persecute people for political persuasions. But I actually believe the Scandinavian model is extreme in itself. And I know Scandinavians watching this, well, many will laugh at that and will try to argue against it. But I do believe it's extreme, and in this video I want to explain why. You're arguing about the crime levels and you're using that alone to justify the system. You're also saying that the American system, as an example, is based on revenge. I don't actually believe that it is, entirely. Um, I believe some of it might be, but I think that's a rather narrow-minded argument to just say, oh, it's based on revenge. Um, if it was based solely on revenge, then Americans would just lynch each other. That would be pure revenge. So I, I don't agree that it's based entirely on revenge. Um, there are courts of laws in the United States. Is it flawed? Yes. But the idea that it's based solely on revenge insinuates that it's based on mob justice, and it's not. Um, but I want to bring in the basic principle of fairness. Now, the reason I take such issue with the Norwegian model is I believe it has no fairness. I believe it is deeply, deeply unfair. Um... Again, they would argue, oh, well, everyone deserves a second chance in life. But without knowing the individual cases, 
when you have someone whose entire life is devoted to crime, they've been given chance after chance after chance. So how can you argue that they deserve a second chance? Or put it this way, are you arguing that a paedophile deserves a second chance? Or let's say an arsonist who's burned a family from their home? Or someone guilty of premeditated murder? You're arguing they deserve a second chance? Put it this way, the vast majority of people will not do that. When we talk about second chances, that should be for human mistakes. Things that are, you know, something that anyone could do. Now, if you're arguing, okay, a shoplifter, yeah, fine, I would, I would buy that. Give him a second chance, they made a stupid decision. Taking drugs, stupid decision, give them a second chance. Those sort of things. But there are some crimes that are so heinous that to argue for a second chance is, in my opinion, that trivialises the crime. And there's something very wrong about a system that doesn't seem to have any comprehension of the seriousness of the crime. And to me, the Norwegian prison system doesn't because it treats criminals basically as if they've done nothing wrong. The argument is they want to normalise them and make them feel like normal citizens so that they'll be responsible citizens. That's all very well, but there should be pushes to uh, integrate people into society whilst making sure they pay for their crimes. That isn't about vengeance. That is about justice. Now, in my opinion, there is no justice in the Norwegian system because there's no punishment. You cannot have justice without punishment. And I don't accept that living in ensuite facilities, getting full education facilities, getting full exercise f facilities, having a massive choice of DVDs, having entertainment facilities. In one case, a guy who had been an axe killer was allowed to go out and use an axe to cut down trees. I mean, what's next? Allow rapists to have access to porn? Allow paedophiles access to child pornography? To me, that is, um, there, there is also something I cannot comprehend about a mindset of these people, these extreme liberals, who cannot bring themselves to feel any anger whatsoever at people guilty of heinous crimes. Take, for example, a woman who's been victim of rape. If you're a Norwegian guy, and that was your sister or your girlfriend or your wife, are you telling me you would have no anger? What sort of man are you? I'm sorry, but I've got strong views on this. You're telling me you would have no anger? You wouldn't want to see that man punished? It's not about vengeance. It's about justice. I mean, do Norwegians have no anger that Breivik is living in these conditions? And this isn't trying to be insensitive or provocative. I am genuinely curious. I genuinely cannot comprehend or understand that Norwegians wouldn't have any anger at that. Also, I don't believe the idea that all Norwegians are happy about this situation. I refuse to believe that. Norwegians aren't aliens, they're not abnormal people. I'm sure there's plenty of Norwegians out there who look at their system and do feel angry about it. And I feel that maybe their side isn't being heard. I mean, the fact that there is low crime levels in itself is a good thing, but it isn't everything. It's not everything. As far as I'm concerned, I can't see an ounce of fairness in this. Why is it that law-abiding Norwegians, who play by the rules, who don't terrorise society, um, are expected to... But basically, you have a situation where people who are guilty of heinous crimes are being treated like they've done nothing wrong. How can you call that a good system, even if it does result in low crime levels? It's still unfair. That's the point here. It isn't not just about crime levels. That's the thing I would like to get out in this video. Crime levels is only one part of the argument. Fairness. There is no fairness in the Norwegian system. And I suspect very little in the Swedish system either. I'm not familiar with the Danish or Finnish systems. But I have seen several videos about the Norwegian and Swedish systems. And I have to say, I am shocked. And I'm just grateful I don't live in those countries. Because... To me, that would be utterly intolerable. Now, I'm not for a second saying Britain's a perfect situation. Far from it. 
We can certainly improve our system. We do need penal reforms. We also need more proportionate punishment. There are far too many examples of thugs getting off um, on perfect sentences. But uh, admittedly, I find it very hard to understand the logic of extreme liberals who would try and say that this is a fair system. How can you say that someone guilty of a heinous crime and being treated like they've done nothing wrong, how can you call that fair? Now, just for the record, I am not saying that they should go into hellhole prisons where they're flogged every day. That is not what I'm saying. I do believe that prisons should be humane. And I have no problem with, for example, education facilities. But there has to be a cut-off point where they know that they are paying the price. They're paying back society. That is not vengeance. That is justice. That is fairness. And frankly, I think this system is utterly perverse. I don't really understand how anyone could argue that this is a fair system. It isn't just about the results. It's also about the process. The process is unfair. I mean, Norway would be a wonderful country to go if you're a criminal. If you happen to be a rapist or a paedophile or um, an arsonist watching this video, go to Norway. Wonderful place. I just don't grasp it and I cannot accept the arguments that are being made.